What's going on guys, it's Chris from Funtech Guys and this is just a quick tutorial on multi-line cursors and incremental searches. I'm going to, just going to fly through this because it's very simple yet it will save you a, a lot of time, trust me. So I'm just going to pull up a PHP file here and if I wanted to comment this code out, this if statement out straight away, what I'd need to do is go to the beginning of the line, you know, knock down, again, comment out. That's just taking, I don't know, say eight, nine, ten stroke keystrokes. Right. If I go to the beginning of the line that I want to select, so say up here, and I hit Alt, click down on the mouse and just drag it down, I can select the lines that I want to edit. So I can just go to the side, uncomment, and vice versa, I can just comment. Um, if I wanted to select all the you know the the, the lines all the characters to the right, I just hit command, shift, oh sorry, command and go to one side and then command left and right, that will just select the lines that I'm on. Likewise, if I want to um, select a certain amount of characters, if you just hold alt, you can drag with your mouse and that will just select everything on that line. So say if I wanted to delete everything from that point on, just hit delete and I've brought it back. Not that I would want to do that anyway. So yeah, that's just Alt, select the line, drag down, and then you can delete or type or whatever takes you, you fancy. Okay, if I wanted to select all of these, uh, all of these instances of test, I can click into the string here, hit um, Command and the letter D, and that will select the string. If I do it again, Command and D, you can see it's highlighted this one now. It's selected both of these together, it's just incrementally searched but it's remembered that I want to keep this one selected so again I can hit command and D, command and D and now it's selected all of the instances of test I can delete, I can write whatever I want in there, something right, so I'll go back to test but what happens if I wanted to um, select the next one, so say if I wanted this, but I, I actually wanted to change this variable here so let's just say um, command and G and that will select the next instance but it will not remember um, the previous one, so it will just move on so say, you know, command G it will just move down here, so I can edit this, echo message and likewise if I wanted to go to the previous instance of it, I will just select into my string or variable or whatever, command shift G and that will just incrementally go backwards. Um, what happens if I wanted to select every instance of it in one go? Well it's very very simple. Simple. All I need to do, click into the variable or the piece of text or, or whatnot, and click control command G and, it's, and that's it. I can just go ahead, something, and then I've just selected and I've just changed a whole load of variables in no time. So this one was command, sorry, uh, select your string or your variable, uh, command, control, and G, and that will select them all. Thanks for watching. Bye.